Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope everyone's well. And um, if you guys haven't seen my latest video on my in-depth review of my auto art signature Kennedy de Gaguerre, please go and check it out. I uploaded it a couple of days ago and it's one of my favorite models in the collection. Uh, I think it's quite a good review, so um, if you haven't seen it, uh, make sure you um, you watch it. And on this video, I'm going to be going over what I think are the three best budget brands that you can buy if you're considering um, starting up in model car collecting. So if we start off with the SLR, um, the SLR is made by Maystone, um, which I've done quite a few videos on Maystone models before. I think they're really good for the value. Um, great details um, and looks quite looks like a more expensive model than what they actually are. Um, we've got the Hot Wheels Ferrari Enzo. Um, as many of you guys know, Hot Wheels make some of the best Ferrari models you can buy for really affordable prices um, because Hot Wheels kind of make the best Ferraris I think if you exclude BBR and MR and all of the higher end really expensive stuff um, I think Hot Wheels as a whole make the, the most detailed Ferraris considering their price and then on the on the left we've got the Porsche uh, Carrera GT made by Motormax I've done a full review of this model car on the channel so um, if you want to see it in more detail you can um, go and check it out but I'll be doing a comparison between these three models and kind of coming up with um, a conclusion at the end of which one is the best brand so it'll be Motormax versus Hot Wheels versus Maystone and um, I think these are three of the best brands that you can buy right now and also I've got the um, the Carrera GT, the Enzo and the SLR because back in the mid 2000s these three were kind of considered to be the original Holy Trinity, um, the first three kind of proper supercars um, in the 2000 eras. Um, so I've, I've picked these three from my model car collection to do a comparison video. So let's start off with the uh, the Maystone model and uh, do a comparison between the other two. So I've got the SLR by Maystone on the turntable and I'm going to be going over some of the front details um, that Maystone have. And immediately just by looking at the front I can tell that it's okay in terms of detail but I think the other two brands Eclipse Maisto here, um, especially with this SLR model. Now immediately, obviously the headlights are very recognisable, they're nicely done, very clear plastic. Um, you can see the main headlights and I think um, overall Maystone have done a good job replicating the um, front headlights and the Mercedes badge at the front. Uh, all of these openings at the bottom that you can see here are just black plastic there's no mesh um, which again is okay for the price of the model as well but uh, also I would say one thing that I've noticed on many Maystone models is the quality of paintwork now this SLR is finished in a metallic -y silver and I think it does look really good this paintwork could come off a Auto Art or a Mini Champs model and I don't think anyone would really know. There's a good amount of depth and metallic spark to the paintwork and um, I think Maisto have done, um, done a great job with the um, application of paint. Now if we move across to the Motormax version, the uh, CGT, now immediately it's in the same kind of advertised metallic silver as the SLR. But immediately, I've noticed it just looks a bit more deeper. The overall paint spray looks a lot better. And I just think if you look at the back-to-back -back comparisons, the SLR 
it just it looks lighter and I don't think it looks as deep as the um, Motomax version and this one's probably one of my favorites actually the Motomax um, uh, Carrera GT I love the paint work I think they've done a great job the headlights are um, really nicely done um, the badge is it's a sticker but again it's a good one and um, I think it does it looks it looks um, good enough um, for the model and also you've got a, I like the number plate as well I think that's quite good and all of these here have got a bit of mesh in at the bottom uh, this one's just plastic here and here but that's full of mesh which I really like looks really realistic and I think Motomax has done a good job with the um, with the front end of this model considering that this model retails for like uh, 20 30 pounds maximum so I think it's a really really good uh, model for the uh, money then we go over to um, the iconic Hot Wheels version in the Ferrari Enzo again headlights are done okay like the Maystone version Hot Wheels have just put black plastic um, in all of the openings here and in the fans here and here uh, the badge looks okay um, it looks um, just just a sticker which is the same as the Porsche but I think it's a good quality and um, you can't go wrong with Hot Wheels you can't really fault Hot Wheels um, it makes some of the best uh, Ferrari models and I think overall it's pretty good um, so I think if I'm if we're talking the front end here it's between the Hot Wheels and the Motomax version uh, I probably just put the Motomax version ahead um, I think the paintwork is um, a lot better and the little details here and there with the with the mesh um, the sticker is really nice the shut lines are nice around the um, around the front bonnet the headlights are really detailed and I just think the overall um, paint application and the realism here is a lot better than the Hot Wheels version and the Mercedes uh, SLR so um, now that we've done the front let's um, put them sideways and, and analyze the um, the details there so I've got the uh, the Motomax model um, Porsche here sideways on the turntable and immediately I think this model swings way above its price point some great details here that I really like Firstly, let's have a closer look at these um, at these wheels. Um, I think some of the detail here you would find on all two art models. Firstly, you've got a really nice um, brake disc, covers the entire wheel. The calipers are really nicely done. You can see the uh, the Porsche logo and emblem on the calipers, finished in this kind of gold color, which looks phenomenal. Um, you can see the tire valve on the um, on the rim and the rims are done really nicely as well and if you also notice you've got the Porsche emblem on the center cap and you've got the red outline on this center cap on the driver side if I spin this model around like this you can notice that Motomax have also included the uh, different colors on the other side you've got the blue center caps on this side and you know this is a, a budget budget manufacturer they could have just left it um you know all one color or all the same color but they did it they went that extra level of detail and provided a bit more realism to the uh, porsche Creo gt and um, i think it's just paid off i mean it's just a great model car to have and considering it's um, a lot cheaper than its counterparts you've got um besides from the wheels which are great the uh, side mirrors are great as well um really realistic with the way they stand you've got the door lock here which again you don't really see on many other expensive cars and uh you've got the air intakes on the side which is um got a bit of mesh right at the back in there so I think overall the Porsche is um, really swinging above its weight in terms of price. Uh, the rear wheels have done as good as the front. You can see the uh, detail on the calipers, the discs, the wheels. And overall 
it's um it's it's really really good i can't really recommend this model enough um so let's get the hot wheels version on the turntable and have a look at this one now immediately i've noticed i think a lot less detail compared to the um, motormax version firstly on the wheels i think they're okay uh, the calipers have no details the discs have no detail um, i think the rims are um, not the best you've got the ferrari badge on the center but i think overall it's probably about four or five out of ten um, it's okay you've got the ferrari badge here and the pinaferina badge at the bottom which are nice good stickers uh, you've got the air intake on the side, which has got just the black plastic on. Again, um, I think it's okay. It's also finished with the um, metal um, mesh kind of pattern, but it is just um, black plastic. <clears throat> but I think overall the side of this model isn't up to standard as the Motormax version. Um, I think Motormax have provided a lot more detail and um, a lot more realism, and they've gone that extra bit to um, ensure they replicated the Porsche more authentically than Hot Wheels have with the um, Enzo. So let's also put the Maystone SLR on here. Um, the SLRs were one of my favourite cars, I've probably said that before on the channel. Um, I think Maystone has done a, a, a good job here on the side. The wheels are done very nicely in this iconic um, SLR wheel design. You've got the uh, blue outline center caps with the Mercedes badge and then you've got the five pins in the middle. You've also got some tie writing on the tires which I absolutely love. Um, you've got the tire size, you've got Michelin, um, really good details there which again you don't find on expensive model cars like AutoArt or even MR or BBR. They don't even have tire writing on some of their models so I think um, that's really good detail. You've got the uh, shark fins kind of um, on the side, which again looks good. You've got the McLaren sticker here. You've got these awesome side exiting chrome exhausts, which again looks quite cool. And I think overall, the side of this model is a lot better than the Hot Wheels version, but I wouldn't put it beyond the Motormax version. So um, I think in terms of detail, I would go for the Motormax, the Maystone, and then the Hot Wheels. Just in terms of little details, um, I think the Motormax provides more of these little details um, than the Maystone version, and I think Hot Wheels have just um, slipped out um, in terms of fine the details. So let's have a look at the rear of all these models and do a comparison there. So I've got the um, Porsche and the SLR on the turntable. And immediately, I think it's pretty close for the rear, to be honest. But I think Motormax has done a better job. I think overall, they provided a bit more level of detail. As you can see, the rear diffuser on the um, CGT is a lot more, um, I think, a lot more aggressive. It's got a little carbon weave on, which I like. Um, and where the exhaust and the brake lights are mounted here and here, finished in carbon number plate looks good you've got the Carrera GT badge you've got some more cooling here this is an active rear wing so if you want to display with display it with the um, wing up you can good details on the brake lights uh, on the spoiler and on the side and I think overall Motormax like they've done throughout the whole uh, of the model have provided more detail um, if we look on the right hand side, the SLR again is okay. I like Maystone models, but I think the brake lights aren't as detailed as they could be. The brake light here is just a sticker, good number plate. This is all stickers on the back and the rear diffuser looks okay. Um, the wing on the back is um, not active. You can't move it up or down which again on the real SLR you could, it's an active air brake. But I think overall it's okay. Um, let's have a look at the Enzo. 
again good details on the um, Hot Wheels model I like the rear diffuser obviously the Enzo is more of a race car so I think it would have a bit more of an angled diffuser um, okay details on the exhaust not the best um, good details on the reversing lights and the brake lights and I think overall it's okay in terms of detail by Hot Wheels and I would say that Motor Max again have probably provided the best detail followed by Hot Wheels and then Maystone um, but again all of these three model cars are fully open in die cast models which means everything opens up the engine bay the doors and the boot so let's have a look at some of the um, engine details and decide which manufacturer has um, the best engine detail so I've got the Motormax engine bay and the Hot Wheels engine bay up to do a quick comparison in terms of the details here so let's start off with the Hot Wheels version now again I've got the uh, BBR Ferrari Enzo um, which is one of my favourite models and the detail there is second to none but I'll try not to compare it between that one and this one because it's on another planet but I think Hot Wheels have provided quite good detail here it looks fairly similar in terms of at first glance you can see the, um, the suspension springs on either side which don't work but I think is, is good detail and um, you can see a fair amount of engine bay right the way down um, again it's a Ferrari V12 engine it's a very good um, looking engine um, and I think um, Hot Wheels done an okay job you've got to remember that this this model is not very expensive at all so um, for the money that's I think that that is quite a good engine bay if we look over to the Motormax version um, I think even though the um, the suspension is not working and it's just for show I think Motormax have provided a um, a better looking engine bay I like the colors I like the way you can see right the way down you can see the springs on either side um, you can see that they're connected into the wheel um, even though they don't actually work I think it just still looks like a more detailed engine bay and if you display it in the cabinet with a more expensive model I don't really see how you would notice any of the main differences um, and again in terms of the engine cover if we close down the Hot Wheels version like so it's got the clear plexiglass case on the side with the vents on either side which I like um, you've got the vents here and here which are just stickers but again it's good detail if we go over to the Motormax version closing the engine bay down obviously you've got the iconic engine bay from the Porsche um, Carrera GT where you can see into the engine bay like the Enzo which I like um, I think there's good detail there and um, you can see quite a lot of good detail if we look over to the Maystone version now I'm going to have to hold this up because um, it doesn't stay up it's never ever stayed up I think that is actually quite a poor engine bay considering um, the quality of the Motormax and uh, the Hot Wheels version I feel like it's okay you can see quite a bit of detail you can see this, the two superchargers um, the Mercedes badge and some other details but I don't think it's up to par with um, the Motormax version so let's um, put all these models back and do a final comparison so guys after we have looked at the exterior and the interior detail on all three of these models um, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments about which one is your favorite which brand which car which model but I think um, from my um, opinion on all of these I would say that the Porsche Carrera GT by Motormax is by far the best model 
then I would say Hot Wheels with the uh, Ferrari Enzo and then in third place I would give um, Maystone with the McLaren Mercedes SLR um, in terms of just overall their detail on the exterior and the interior um, I've done a full review on the Enzo and the CGT so if you want to see those two models in a bit more detail please go and check it out on the channel but I hope you guys have enjoyed this video I, um, I love to hear from you guys in the comments about which one you think is your favorite which ones um, the brand the car if you own them um, any um, tips that you guys have I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments so until next time um, I'll do a video tomorrow um, another review um, I'll see you guys then so take care and um, please like and subscribe and um, I'll see you guys soon so take care